This is Parshat uh, Baigash, and uh, here's my Dvar Torah. Uh, after hearing Yehuda's emotional plea, Yosef broke down and told his brothers, I am Yosef. Is my father still alive? He made a point of first sending everyone out, else out from the room so that he was alone with his brothers. Rashi explains that he did not want the Egyptians to see his brothers embarrassed when he, when he revealed his identity to them. The Midrash suggests that Yosef did not act wisely at that moment because it was a dangerous situation. Look, they wanted to kill him, so I mean, I mean, you'd expect that um, they still harbored that those same emotions. After all, the bro after all, the brothers and him had a history exactly, so they could try to kill him again, and there would be no problem. A second opinion quoted by the midrash is that Yosef did not act appropri appropriately by clearing the room for revealing himself to his brothers. He was confident his brothers would not kill him. He knew that they were not that he knew that they were not murderers and that they were not terrorists. The question is, according to the first opinion, that Yosef took a tremendous risk in sending his officers out of the room. Why did he do that? The answer is that Yosef was acting based on the principle, is it preferable for a person to throw himself into a fiery furnace rather than to embarrass his fellow man publicly? Yosef knew it was a risk, but he felt it was, it, that it was a risk he had to take. We know that, that we know the importance of embarrassing someone is um, a principle in the Torah that you should not do. I was told this inspiring story. Rabbi Akiva Eigler once invited a poor man to his home on Friday night. At the meal, a beautiful white tablecloth covered the Shabbat table. When the poor man lifted his glass of wine, it spilled out of his hand, and the red liquid spilled over the pure white tablecloth, leaving, leaving an ugly blotch. Seeing the poor man squirm in embarrassment, Rabbi Eigler immediately lifted his own glass of wine and also accidentally spilled his glass of wine. Rabbi Eigler remarked, It seems as if the table or the floor is shaking, doesn't it? He had been willing to make himself look careless, and to soil a nice tablecloth to spare the shame of others. We must always remember not to embarrass people, but rather greet them with a smile and always go that extra mile for our friends and even people we do not know. Shabbat Shalom.